the blue. I hope you all are well and feeling even better. Cheers to a new video. This video is dedicated to my travelers. By now you all should know I am heading to Mexico for Malay, which is a carnival destination event. It's five days. Each day there are at least three fets and each fet is themed. I'm definitely that person who likes to stay on theme and I also feel as if it just makes it easier to plan what you're gonna wear because you don't have so many options you have a category to stick to and you know there you go and for someone who's indecisive like myself a theme party or event day that just makes life so much easier for me so this will be a try on haul for a pretty little thing Amazon and Shein I'll also have some packing tips for you all towards the end actually I may make this a full-on packing video as well depending on how long this video ends up being because y'all know your girl doesn't like a video being too long or maybe I'll ask my Instagram if I should do a try on haul by itself and then the packing video separately I don't know but either way I will put it here on the screen so you know what's to come if you have any questions you know how to contact me xojrwellness.com slash contact or you can drop your question in the comments ah for those of you who want more travel content right now like right this second immediately head over to my travel page xojrwellness.com slash travel i have blogs recapping previous destinations my full itinerary because you know planning is a huge part of traveling but you know a lot of people do not like to do the planning part so i'm making things easier for you i gave you all full itinerary so all you have to do is book everything for yourself i also have my amazon travel essentials linked on the page as well and where i shop for my luggage um what is it i can't believe i'm doing this because i love them bays ba oh, bays if you don't know about bays it's worth it it's a bit costly but it's absolutely worth it so any of those travel specifics you want right now just head over to xojrwellness.com slash travel i'm sure it's there and if you do not find what you're looking for let me know so i can get it together ciao everything is content everything is content never forget that now oh shoot i gotta get this this is how i got the aerial view for you guys okay to review the outfits as I try them on I think last time I tried all of my outfits on and then reviewed them so I'm gonna do something different here and I already like this process much better so I just tried on the split high fringe hem lace black tube dress from Shein let's see if I got that correct because that name was hella long let's see the split thigh fringe hem lace tube dress I think I said that right that's what I said I'm pretty sure I did anyhow this is a dress from Shein I absolutely love it the length and I expected that it doesn't fall all the way to my ankles and that's okay because the fringe pieces they do I am five eight and a half so <laughs> excuse me if you are five five this will be a full length on you but I love it so much it's not hot obviously it's lace I know but you guys if you're familiar with the lace dresses some of that lace can be really thick and uncomfortable but this isn't the case at all it's soft it's completely see-through so in the video I'm wearing um, like my this is probably a shapewear short set but I do have a high waist thong and I know I'll probably end up wearing that. You can do this with or without a bra. I know I'm gonna wear a bra if you have black pasties or nude pasties, you can go with that. But I do have a black strapless that I'm gonna use. For this one, I just tucked my um, straps in. By the way, that's a Skims bra. <sighs> Skims is everything to me. So this dress, I'm definitely gonna keep it. And this will be for, what night is it? This is the same day as Carnival. So after playing mass all day, I already know I'm gonna want something really thin and easy to put on that won't make me hot at all. So I'm definitely happy with this decision. The dress, this is the Massoured Plunging Neck Frill Ruffle Hem Chiffon Dress. This dress will be for the brunch that's gonna be at 5 a.m. 
5 a.m. So it's carnival all day. Then there are two fets that night and then a brunch at 5 a.m. Two things for sure. I'm going to be lit AF and I'm going to be cold. Without a doubt, that was my purpose of wanting a long sleeve dress. On the reviews, it said the dress was really short. It's not short at all. I'm five, eight and a half, look at that. That's not a short dress. I thought maybe, you know, my cheeks were gonna be out or something, but no, that's not the case at all. It's very cute. Two, my itty bitty committee. You definitely want a push-up bra in this dress. I had on my regular bra and it just laid like too flat and it made me look even younger. So I put on my push-up bra and it's perfect. Even if you want one of those plunge bras, that'll work as well. Or you can just pin this down a bit, get a safety pin and ooh, actually, I may do that. Cause you know, when you pull down, it pushes in and gives you more cleavage. So yeah, I may do that indeed. We'll see. I do like it like that as well. It's just don't want that to show. So yeah, if you don't want your bra to show if you're wearing a bra, just, you know, get a safety pin. It's just gonna give you more of a push up or get one of those plunge bras that cuts down a bit deeper or, you know, pasties if you already have boobs, whatever, do your thing. So I am happy with this dress. I will be keeping it, not returning it. Oh, and the dress zips. I think I'm brunch, you guys. Yo, what's that song? Um, but y'all know the order. Tell a ten rosés with a few cold water. So put on my hoops, my big. Oh yeah, actually, hold on. Which hoop? And I, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Which hoop do you guys like better than this? I had zero intentions of wearing BT Dubs. The jewelry is from Shein as well. I trips like this. I do not take my real jewelry with me at all because I know I'll be sick if I lost it. I lost a really, really great and special bracelet in March when I was in the Bahamas. So no, never again. Yeah, the bigger ones, right? The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoop. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the bigger hoop, but let me know if this one actually looks better. Anyhow, let me get to the pretty little thing, FYI. This is the White Woven Underwire Boned High Neck Sleeveless Corset paired with the White Woven Knot Waist Split Leg Meda Medaxi. Oh, I guess because it's a maxi mid. They could have just put midi, but whatever. Uh, leg Medaxi skirt. Both from Pretty Little Thing. They don't come as a set. I saw them separately and I'm so glad I decided to pair these two together. Only con about this outfit is that the skirt is too big, but it's not so big that I want to return it and or exchange it for a smaller size. I'm just gonna pin it. Oh, another thing, for my itty bitty committee, I'm always gonna have to you know, per point out certain things for you all. I usually don't like corset tops with the under boob cut because my boobs are small. But somehow, some way, this one is perfect. I don't know if it's because of the sizing, it's a bit more tighter, but I absolutely love it. I don't have a bra on right now. The night of, I may wear pasties or if I find, you know, some boobs to just insert as like an extra barrier because the top is thin, the skirt is thin, like the material feels nice but it's thin and I'm happy about that as well. So no complaints about this one at all for the jewelry, I'll, you know, bracelets, rings, no need for a necklace at all. And I just realized I still have on the Mitch Match earrings from the other outfit, but that's okay. The length of the skirt, it's good. It comes to my calves, which is perfectly fine with me. And I'll do, oof, I was gonna say I'm gonna do clear heels, but the beach outside at night, yeah. I'll get some cute sandals because mm -mm, mm -mm, not at all, not at all, not at all. And so yeah, you see that space even here on camera. I know you can see it there, but here you can just tell like it's big. So I'm going to pin it there. I'm most excited about this outfit because it's for day two. It's an all white beach party. The performer is the Buju Banton. <sighs> to know me is to know how much I love me some Buju. So the first time I ever heard of Buju, I was in, what grade school? Elementary, el middle school for sure, in the Bahamas. These two guys, they would, all, they would always yell out driver, you know, driver! And the other one would yell out, don't stop at all. 
Driver! Don't stop at all! Their best friends still are. So I'm like, why do you guys say that? And listen, listen, before I say what I'm about to say, just know this is my disclaimer. This is before the American was, uh, was cultured <laughs> by the Caribbean people, okay? So I'm like, why? Why y'all always yelling out driver? Like, what is that about? And so they told me, and then I listened to the song, and I could not understand a word Buju was saying. I could barely understand him now, but his voice... You guys know how powerful that voice is. So since then, I've been listening to Buju and even more in my adult years, especially when I moved down to Florida. So, and I can't believe I'm finally gonna get to see him because I was like super bugged that he wasn't coming over to the States or like he can't come over to the States. But when they announced Buju as one of the artists, I almost lost it. My eyes were watery with excitement. Couldn't believe it. The announcement was just made. Listen, y'all. I'm gonna, oh, I'm finally, finally going to see Buju. Are you kidding, are you kidding me? So my one mission, well, two missions. One, make sure LaToya has the freaking time of her life because this is her idea, her birthday trip. Number two, get a picture with Buju. I have to. I absolutely have to indeed. So Buju, if you somehow see this video, find the girl with the red hair. It may be braids, it may be just like this, just a little more. But um, no matter what, just come say hi to me. And Or you don't even have to say hi. Just say, Jazzy, you want your picture now? I don't care how busted I look or how lit. If I look as if I'm in the middle of something, I'm not gonna be too busy for you, Buju. Not at all, not at all. So anyhow, yes, I'm so glad this outfit is practically perfect aside from the skirt sizing. Buju, I'll see you soon. I'm bugged about this one. This is a Shein and a PLT to get set together or match together. This is the Shein top, which is the Icon Solid Backless Halter Top. It's cute, it's comfy, it's great. I also ordered this in black, but I didn't get it. And that makes me really sad because it's supposed to be the black tab going with the skirt wrap from PLT. And that wrap is the black leaf print multi-way maxi sarong. That's supposed to be black. My, my heater's on, hold on. This is supposed to be a black top with the skirt from PLT. So, I was planning to wear that for the first night, which is a uh, Rep Your Flag beach party. You know, I wanted something loose, something free, because it'll also be the first day of my cycle, and I know Jazzy Baby's gonna be hot. I mean, I have other black halter tops, light and all, but I really wanted this one. Let me tell y'all, this, and the thing is, the quality of the top, is what's really bugging me about that one being missing. Cause you know, if, this, if I didn't care for this, I would've been like, oh, they didn't even give me the black one. Let me just give me my money back. But like, I want the top. <laughs> it's so smooth and buttery. And even with the ridges, it's just, oof, it's so buttery. So I'm thinking this may be a part of my airport outfit. I don't know what I'm wearing to the airport yet, but I think this would be cute. Maybe this and just, you know, some tights, some leggings. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm going to wear for the first night. But again, it's just a Rep Your Flag beach party, so nothing too drastic at all. The skirt, I like the skirt, I do. And the material of this sarong, it's, it's quality. It's nice quality indeed. Like I wouldn't even wear this, I wouldn't even want to get this wet or with sand on the beach just because of how nice and soft it is. I absolutely love it. It's much longer than I expected indeed. So I like both. Not returning either. But Shein, I want my black halter top. I do. This is a really, really cute freaking top, okay? It is. I love it. I can't believe is it really missing though? I guess it's better that than my black tube lace dress, right? This is the Yoga Basic Crisscross Backless Wide Waistband Sports Set 
from Shein. The color will say purple. This is obviously not purple. It's definitely Ooh, more of a magenta. Okay. So it's the quality of the material is yes. nice. It's soft indeed. The top has pads, but the pads are removable. Without the pads, it's definitely lightweight. Um, not lightweight, light support. With the pads, it gives a light, lightish medium support, but definitely not a full on medium support. I won't be running in this, but there is a workout set for the second day, I think, but it's outside, you know, it'll be so good vibes indeed, so I don't need the support that I like when running. But if I feel like I do after all, because my cycle will be on, my boobs are gonna be kinda sore, I may put on a smaller sports bra under it just to help me out. Now the bottoms. If you love the scrunch butt design and you like to ram the shorts up your ass, it has the scrunch design, but it doesn't go between your ass. And it could be because Jazzy Baby does not have a big ass at all. So if you do have a big ass and it ramps up your butt like you like it, I'm so happy for you. And um, if it doesn't, well, you know, there's a, uh, what do you call it? Um, Clo clothing malfunction <laughs> with the shorts and we need to let she in no you guys know i love my workout items from gymshark and the the material i honestly can't compare it because this is uh, you know that seamless material that's what this is and gymshark doesn't have that and i don't even like that material to work out in i like the dry fit material which is what gymshark has so this one from Shein, I think it's perfect for yoga or especially hot yoga in the studio. The shorts seem to be squat proof. I do have on a bright, um, a bright orange thong and you can't see the color and I've still been looking and you see I've bent all over in my other mirror and my front mirror and I couldn't see what I was wearing, not one bit. One other thing about the shorts, this one's a con they roll easily. Well, two, I guess. They roll easily and there's not a lot of support at all. So from the small moment that I bent down to do a squat check, the shorts rolled as if I rolled them up myself. Cause some shorts I will roll them up if I just think they're too long or, you know, it'll be like biker shorts. And I'm like, no, I want booty shorts today. I'm gonna roll those up. These are gonna roll up regardless. So keep that in mind, especially if you're doing a workout with a lot of movement movement or around a lot of people and because you may become uncomfortable when i tell you they roll y'all they roll roll all the way up indeed but it's cute i purchased it because of the color i absolutely love the color and i know the pictures are going to turn out great from the beach so that was my primary reason of purchasing it and my reason for keeping it so far am i returning any i don't think i'm returning anything so far Good job, Jasmine Rain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the color's cute. Be cute with my hair as well. And that's the thing about Gymshark. I love Gymshark a lot, I do, but their colors, the colors are the same. And I understand branding, but the people need options, you know, like nothing. They need that middle mark of girly and um, I don't wanna say tomboyish, but like the middle mark of girly and tomboyish, you know? Like it's either light pink or you're doing black and gray. I like that middle part, you know? I don't always wanna wear pink, light blue, pink, light blue or, or, or gray or black. So this one gives me what I wanted for sure. Okay, 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 y'all. I swear the more I continue with this try on haul the more wild I look. <laughs> so I'm keeping these shades on because I'm trying to decide if I actually like them or not. Anyhow, this is a PLT Swimmy Baby Pink Mix and Match Embossed Toweling Long Sleeve Bikini Top. And of course, the Embossed Toweling B Front Bikini Bottoms. They both feel great. I'm usually not a fan of the toweling material and honestly, I did not pay a lot of attention to that in the title, so I'm glad I actually like it. The shades are from PLT as well. This is the, where you at, where you at, where you at? 
pink elongated metal frame cat eye sunglasses and when I say they're elongated or the title it they are they are indeed much more longer than I would usually do but I like the toweling material indeed the top beware I'm in the itty bitty committee but this is definitely giving nip slip without a doubt so I'll for sure be wearing a pasties under this or being mindful about throwing my hand up and just try to make it a habit to hold on to this part right here whether I'm running or just screaming especially dancing if you can hold this down then it's not gonna slide up that's really good to cut and adjust and I like that a lot to cut your boobs but even with that check this out see the so the bikini bottoms they are just as comfy as the top the bottoms are not thongs it's like that bikini cut slash thong type of deal it goes up your butt like it's a thong but it's not a thong so it looks like a very large thong so only that part i don't like the pink wrap is from plt as well i forgot to mention that hold on um it's just just maybe a pink oh it's not from oh i think this is from shein hold on let me see yes this is from shein the wrap is the not to waste mesh cover up skirt it's the perfect length and not too big not too excuse me not too long at all it's super easy to tie i was trying to make up my mind if i wanted to tie on the side or the middle but i really think i dig the middle tie it complements the v cut here this is for the barbie day this is for the Barbie day. I have pink shoes. I'll do those separately. So I'm satisfied with it. I am. It's just the top. If I had more time to return, I would. And I could have because I received my packages last week. So, um, but yeah, if I had the time to return, I would. But it's not that big of a deal for me right now. However, if I find a really sexy, like, high cut one piece on Amazon, I'm definitely going to order that. But I also really love a long sleeve swimmy. I love a long sleeve swimmy so, so, so much. So, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn. I'll let you know, though. <laughs> See? Yeah. All that. But if I keep it down, although I won't be dancing like that, you got to do all the drastic movements when you're trying on to see what you can and cannot do. And the bottoms and the wrap, let me tell you, it's good. They ain't moving. They ain't moving at all. So next, the blue, the blue, Shein, shout out to you. And also on Amazon as well, this is the this is a plain split cover-up on Amazon I'll put the image right there for you as well because it's the same item on Amazon it's 10 bucks less on Shein I love it the arms are not mine length but it's a swimmy it's a cover-up so you know I have no problem pulling that up right there definitely not worth returning over I do wish you know I love you like I'm cool. You know you do what I'm good to You know you give good brain like you graduated from good school. You know I'm a good move, you should Little Wayne, don't be so rude like that. I'm trying to do a review. Dang. I do wish the middle came down lower. So I looked to see how it would be if I pinned and it doesn't look too bad at all but I'm also gonna make sure it's just not me kind of being tired from doing the haul that I'm like oh yeah that's cute I'll do that but either way it's not worth returning over at all I love the slit it's a high slit indeed and I think it's a perfect cover-up I'll more than likely purchase this in other in other colors as well because I have a romper like this but it's black and it's short sleeves and it's shorts not a dress but this I like it a lot and I know blue looks bomb on me you know true blue all day so I'm, I'm satisfied these shades I actually purchased them the beginning of the year and I wore them in my shoot with the um water tours in the Bahamas the kayak photo shoot which was so much fun so much fun and these were so cute in there right you can see them in the video too Know why I'm trying to not like try not to look so wild. I'm kind of sad that it looks so good because we may possibly miss the majority of the retro party, which is day one. 
I am wearing, let me see, this is from Amazon, hold on. This is the Ladies Retro Vintage, oh excuse me, this is the BS Lingerie Women 1950s Retro Vintage Push-Up Monokini. Now, for starters, it ain't a push-up. It ain't a push-up at all. The boob space is actually quite large. I'm gonna try to sew it so it's more cup like that. You see, see that? Now that's cute. That's cute and deep because it's so much extra cloth and padding that tucking it in makes it look like a push-up, but it's not. It's just extra material folded down. So if I can sew it like this and I do believe I can, then that's exactly how I'm gonna wear it. If not, you know, it's okay like this, but I prefer a thing to be pushed down like that, give it a whole vibe, you know. Ah, uh, what else? Oh, it runs small, girl. Runs so small. I'm so glad I followed everyone in the reviews indeed. This is a medium, and even that I had to wiggle into. And although it's a medium, the top still runs big. So the top is definitely a medium. Everything else is a small. So if your boobs are larger than the rest of your body, you may even want to go up two times because your regular size, this may feel nearly two sizes smaller than it actually is. The butt, you know, I'm used to thong bikinis or at least a little cheeky. The butt is not my huge, but you know, it's retro, it's vintage. They weren't wearing it. It's either the high cut thong or the, um, what do you call it, the high cut bikini. But you know, I saw when I just pushed it up my butt a little bit, it gave me some cheeks, you know what I'm saying? But I'm so, I'm so satisfied with this. It's so cute, it's so fun. I love fun, sexy gets boring, you know? And these shades, I thought about them because it was like, nah, this is cute, but something's missing. I'm pretty sure these belong to Asia. She probably let me borrow these for a photo shoot, but listen, don't they just set the freaking tone of the swimmy? Like, come on, come on. And Asia, when you see this, just know I will return these after Mexico, okay? <laughs> But the, this is just hella cute. It is, it's so cute. And this is gonna be on day one. So, watch me sew this down. I'm gonna sew this down good. And I'm glad the straps are kinda long cause I'm gonna have to just sew it all just like that and really, and I'm gonna have to do one of those photos. Or is it like, yeah. I am, I am. Good pick, Jasmine Rain. Good freaking pick. You see the butt like that? What if I a little bit? Mm -hmm. So I really do hope the pool party is still going on once we arrive because I need to show this off. Okay. There's nothing like a sexy one piece. I don't care. I love bikinis, but when that one piece just fits you, it's a freaking game changer, okay? It absolutely is. Hey friends, apparently I did not film an ending last night. I was really tired from that try on. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the try on haul. And as you can tell, there's no packing in this video. I felt as if this alone was long enough. Y'all know how I am about having videos that are too long. So I'll be sure to provide a separate video for the packing tips so you know you can definitely fit the majority of your items in a carry-on. Thanks again for watching, enjoy! We shot Pam Pam, oh, what's that song? Um, we need more bottles, tell more, hurry up, tell them. See you dance, see you dance, I wanna see you dance. I can never do the Harlem Shake. Let's see if I remember this verse. When I go to the studio, you know I cop that Brand new with a root top that Show, cause I'm rolling with the thugs So I flash a couple of dollars that we only want